Okay, we've got an MPH Python 2 FS. Uh, it's a K-band unit, currently running it with a single antenna. We've got a really simple remote here. Uh, you just got your little rocker switch, so transmit front antenna. Stop transmitting is the middle, we're back in standby. And if we press the bottom button, uh, we would be transmitting rear antenna. I don't have the rear antenna plugged in at the moment, it's currently just front antenna. So we've got that going. And then if we want to lock the speed, press that. If we stop transmitting, the lock speed stays right there. And begin transmitting again, looks like we've got lock. And then I'm guessing REL is release. Maybe relock. Okay, so I guess it's relock. Yeah, okay. Oh, and release, we can do that to clear the lock. Okay, got it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, transmit a little bit and see how it works. Uh, looks like we've got uh, no directional information. We see no indication when a vehicle's coming towards us or moving away. Audio Doppler definitely does vary with the uh, not only speed but also quality of the signal. You can hear it getting really weak as the vehicle is getting farther away. So no directional information and also no fastest mode. It's pretty much just the strongest signal only. Make sure this is pointed downrange. Weird little funkiness there. I've got my car turned off, uh, the AC is off, um, the alternator's off, so you know, no engine, no interference from any of that. <clears throat> Man, that's weird. I wonder what all that's about. Seems like we get that kind of funkiness when we get a weak signal. Um, let's try it maybe. picking up on something in my car. So, one of the reasons why antenna placement is so key. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting some interference from something in my vehicle, but uh, I should fix it. Okay. Basically, like the strongest signal has to be over overpowering whatever that source of uh, whatever that source is. Motorcycles not picking up the bike, not the strongest signal. Something tells me he's not doing 125 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what the source of that really high uh, speed is. It's something in my car, so if I was to mount this permanently, you know, antenna placement would definitely be really, really important here. And that's an issue with almost every radar gun, just uh, dealing with alternators with fans. That antenna really clearly even pointed. Yeah, look at that. Pointed right at it. Maybe turn them a little bit. Point it right down right into there. So there's a look, uh, let's go ahead and stop transmitting. There's a look at the MPH Python 2 FS in stationary mode. Uh, again, you'll notice uh, strongest signal only. There is no option for the fastest speed. 
Uh, there's also no directional information. It's a pretty simple unit, one of the older ones. Uh, you know, they have new ver newer versions that have come out, of course. It's a couple generations back, but it still is in use. So if you guys are curious about the unit, uh, there you go. There's a look at uh, the Python 2 here in action. Thanks for watching.